Let me hit pop back. Link me, hit. Yo, hit. What up, man? So man, I gotta flip my doing, phone sir? around, huh? What's happening, What's man? What's happening? Let me flip man, my phone around. Much. You know what I mean, I just was on the phone with the homie. I was on it with uh. Uh, Tiana Taylor, you know, that's her, the, 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 my mother, the husband and all. I was just on there with my childhood friends and you know, them. My man Fawn and Fred and all of them. Wow. Uh, what's okay. the word? Let me, um, let me get, let me position my joint a little better. Okay. You know what I mean? We're going to rock. Because I, I got it on the charge. I'm trying to find a charge where I can sit. You know what I mean? My joint is on the But you know what I mean? We live. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yeah, get you see what I'm, you know what I mean? Get that, that's the new garments, man. First time seen, first time worn right here. You know what I'm saying? Baby. That trench baby, man. About to hit the stores heavy, man. We okay. but we rocking and loaded, man. You know I'm gonna send something down your way, man. I got every all type of everything, man. This ain't just this. Give me one second, let me so I can put my phone a certain way. Yes, sir. Let me see if I can go this way, because you upside down. You gonna you still upside down, right? I gotta put it like this. Yeah, with the damn charger, you know. Yeah, let me go to you. I'm going to set it up. What's happening, man? What's happening, man? man? I, I, I appreciate the, um, the time and opportunity, bro. Nah, I appreciate you, beloved. I appreciate you. I, Give me one second. I know in me two seconds. We're going to be rocking. We're going to get started. Yes, but, sir. yeah, I hear you. I appreciate you, too. I appreciate you, too, 1,000%, man. One hand wash the other. You know, both hand wash the face, man. Yes, sir. And I, I know y'all got big shit coming. Yeah, we got we up to some shit, man. God is God is great. It's all Absolutely. all praises. You know what I'm saying? It Absolutely. ain't me. It definitely ain't me, man. I, I appreciate I, I'm appreciative of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's without a doubt. Uh, give me one second. So yeah, you, take your time. You already. I'm gonna get to you one second. All right. <laughs> What up to everybody in here? What's happening? Yeah. yeah, I'm getting set up, baby. How we doing? How we looking? You good? You good? You come a little closer. I think we good money. Either way. Yeah, what's happening? All right, can I, can I, do, my little, can I do my little intro real quick? Yeah. All right. Welcome all my hoodlums, hooligans, knuckleheads, players and pimps, slayers and simps, hoes and freaks, nerds and geeks, strippers and tippers, thugs and gorillas, soldiers and kings, goddesses and queens, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, niggas and bitches, and you sophisticated motherfuckers alike. Welcome to Hip Hop's Biggest Fan. Um, well, honey. And today, um, man, I have a, a infamous, iconic, legendary... Um, King, I'm interviewing today. Um, you may have heard him, uh, some stories of him and his legendary crew mentioned on Drink Champs. Um, ran with Capone and Noriega, Murder Unit. Um, also have have a documentary on uh my man, shout out Gully TV. Shout out Gully. Yeah, I just talked to him. I was like, Yo, yeah, he was just calling me when I was on live. So you could text him, tell him um I I I wanted to pick up, but I was on I was on live talking to my man. I was talking to you, and I was talking to my man Bo. That's why I didn't pick up. He was I'll just calling honest. me. I'll be honest with you, Bob. I called him like, yo, can you make sure? Can you try to help me out? To make sure. No, nah, come on. I told you, I got you, beloved. <laughs> I told you that. That's without a doubt. Okay, yeah. give me that hat. I'm trying to get my my, my yo y'all hat up. Yeah, I, I'm listening, beloved. Go ahead. Um, you might have seen him on uh um. The, uh, a legendary uh, hustler from Harlem, a club promoter, Unique Mecca Audio. You might have seen him on YouTube with him. And he's been mentioned all over the internet. Uh, Queens Flip been talking about him. Um, but MU, Bronx native, baby ball. You know What's what happening? Mean? Salute, salute, y'all. Salute, everybody. Salute to the family, man. Humble yes, to be sir. here, man. Shout out to Hip Hop Biggest Fan. You know what I mean? Man, I think you got to argue about that name, man. 
man. Thank no, you. I, so I love much. that. I love hip hop, man. It's, it runs through my veins. Let me see that white hat, man. I'm trying to find my yo yellow hat. But um, you know, I appreciate you know the greetings. I appreciate us sitting here today and being on the topic of hip hop. I see your background. That's dope. My name Baby Bob, South Bronx, Harlem. You know what I mean? Mu. You know all that. You know we got a lot going on right now. So um, um, I'm humble and I'm appreciative. Like you know we got movies deal that's on the table. You know at minimum that's mass appeal where we shop on Showtime, HBO. You know, that's probably be a four-part series. Of course, we got Drink Champs, Smoke Champs, you know what I mean, things of that nature. But I'm going to let you in. We're going to get into all that. What's... Thank you, man. Okay. A part of me feel like you might have just dropped an exclusive on the world right now. No, nah, there's a lot more to it. I don't want to I don't start off too early. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, right. I don't want to, you know. Okay. So um, first things first. Are you uh, originally from the Bronx? I'm, I'm born in Harlem. I'm born in Harlem Hospital. Okay. And uh, I had grandmothers and mothers, and you know, my grandmother and parents was in both. But I grew up predominantly, you would say, in the South Bronx. But where I live is close to the Harlem. It's one block. It's a bridge. I live on Gerard. It's Gerard River, and then it's Lenox Avenue. You cross the bridge, like where the where the um when Jim Jones and French had the video on the bridge. Okay. That's my neighborhood. One wow. side of that bridge is the South Bronx, 149th Street, and like Gerard. I'm from 153, 157 in Gerard. So that's my area. That's my block. And when you cross that bridge, you're on 145th Street in Lenox. So now you're in Harlem. So that's my area. I live by Yankee Stadium. So I grew up predominantly in the South Bronx, but also Harlem, too, because it's, it's close-knit. Geographically, people that don't know may say, oh, it's separate, but that's considered uptown. Bronx and Harlem is considered uptown New York City. Okay. And that's where I'm from. Um, with, with that being said, um, can you can you explain to people that don't know, even such as myself, because I'm from Baltimore. Only time I've ever been to New York has been like some tourism kind of shit. Um, can you ex can you tell us what it was like growing up in the South Bronx in Harlem um, in the '80s and the '90s? Oh, it was a beautiful time, man. I wish sometimes I could go back in time. Um, a lot of our history is documented in hip hop. You know, '80s hip hop, '90s hip hop, disco. So for me, growing up. Let's say uh, early 80s, say 80, 80, 83, 84, we break dancing. We went leads. We went shell toes. Plumas is out. I wore pro kegs, butterfly collars. I was in elementary school wearing um, gazelles. You know what I mean? We was wearing rubber bands around the ankles of our pants. I was wearing AJ Lester, two tone pants. You know what I mean? I remember when they were snatching leaf patches. You know what I mean? Um, I remember when we was wearing two brushes, we was carrying two brushes of clean suede pumas. You know, I'm talking about five, six years old. I was wearing, I was wearing striped knees, you know what I mean? La Tigra, you know what I mean? So I grew up seeing hip hop, seeing the rope chains, seeing um, the Jeeps, the cars, you know, the bamboo earrings, the rope chains, you know, things that hip hop still embody. But that was, that. you don't know that you was living in time. How you doing, Ma? How you doing, Tanya? Willie Burgers, what's up? Buggy Love, what up? Um, so in that time, uh, me, I'm, I'm starting with the 80s, you know, being, being, being five, six years old, you know what I mean? And in love with hip hop, in love with, with break dancing, in love with seeing the, the, the culture uh, flourish, you know, is, 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 is I'm a part of that. You can't take that from a guy my age growing up in the 80s from the South Bronx. You know, that's, we take this, this is a serious thing. This is our passion. And it's bigger than, we know the elements. Graffiti, breakdancing, uh, the microphone. Um, what we got? We got breakdancing, graffiti, you know, the music. You know, these is, these are some of the elements. I don't want to, I don't want to um, miss something or add nothing. But you know where I'm coming, where I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know, I'm from that. I'm from buying D batteries for radios. So growing Pop up. Jam. With, you know what I mean? Say it again. Hey. Park James. Park James. I'm from that. I'm from where you had to join A A A J and I'm 18 Park. That's Patterson. That's P S 18. That's in the South Bronx. We we I, I go to schools across the street. I still walk there. You know what I mean? So wow. then you go into you know I get a little older. I'm in love with hip hop early. You know what I mean? Before before double digits. So the time I'm a teenager, hip hop kind of changes because not changes. We're dealing with early night. We're dealing with Public Enemy. You know, so for yeah. me, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that's, uh, how you say it, 
um, intrigued by Black Power also because during this time it was also Public Enemy. You had we was pushing Marcus Garvey, you know, Five Percenter, Mark yeah. Malcolm Max. There was a lot of Black Power inside of '90 music. Also, we was wearing yeah. red, black, and green. So the consciousness of intelligence, it was was there. Hold on one second, here. Oh, mommy, baby. She got to get it out of my pants. She got to get my the um. The, probably the white, the white Yoyala shorts. Um, pardon me. So, um, so we was into Black Power also. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that was that's very important on the upbringing of from the 80s to the 90s and where we at now. Why a lot of guys 40 plus, you know, are speaking so consciously to a younger generation because our music com com compared to today's music, we had bad, but we had a consciousness in the music. So yes. I'm a part of the consciousness of things too, you know? So that also helped a lot of guys like me, helped myself. So it goes from, you know, like the Daylight Souls and the, and, the, and, the, and you had the cool, you had the cool G Rats, but you also had Public Enemy. So we had, I mean, that's important. You know what I'm saying? It's like Little Baby does that in a way similar too. So Absolutely. I say that to say that was also in our lifestyle. So now we're in the 90s. We're in the early 90s, 91, 92, 93, right? I'm right. a teen, I'm a young teenager, you know? So, and you had the drug epidemic going on. That was still yeah. going on from the, from the crack epidemic. So you have yeah. the crack epidemic that's going on, and you have regular life, doctors, lawyers. So it's, not, it's not just one world. But a lot of people was drawn by hip-hop and the streets. These two things... Um, really dominated, you know what I'm saying? Dominated the culture of New York City in my time, the Bronx. So I was intrigued by what the older guys was doing in hip hop and in the street, you know what I'm saying? And from yeah. there, you know what I mean? I kind of took my personality is wow. hip hop culture, not by accident, but in alignment to growing up there. So it's like, you could say, oh, we love hip hop, we love this and we love that. No, that's not what, what I'm coming from. I'm more coming from, we really lived this. So the mistakes from, from, from the, 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 the bad, the good and the ugly, from us right. losing entertainers, losing rappers, et cetera, that's part of it. This is why we having conversations to say, yes, where are we going wrong? What can we do better? You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, all you got to do is look into what was going on in hip-hop. So for me, it was more hip-hop in, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's a teenager. So that's committing crimes, going to juvie, and all that. So I'm going to stop there. Now we're going to the 2000s. That is a little, is a little, it gets a little different. You know what I'm saying? Because hip-hop becomes dominant. You know what I mean? And I yeah. make the transition there. So I'm going to stop there to say growing up in New York was everything you ever heard. Everything that was ever depicted from the good, the bad, and the ugly, that's what was going on. You know what I'm saying? It's no yes, exaggeration. You know what I mean? And I'll give you a little bit of more of that. But I enjoyed growing up in the Bronx. I enjoyed growing up in Harlem. You know what I mean? It was a movie. You know what I mean? It's exciting. And it's still exciting. I'm here for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm, I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying, Hip? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, because y'all still be displaying that till this day. And now y'all can, can do it You know, through the internet and the world can see it. Absolutely. Uh, humble, man. I'm humble. Yeah. Um, so with saying all saying everything you said, though, do you do you remember one of the first songs you ever heard? Or maybe it wasn't even a song, maybe it was like in a pop jam, a battle. Something that you heard in hip hop, yo, that you will never forget, that you will always love to this day. Um, me, it gotta probably go back. My first I remember my first because my mom, my grandmother used to buy me like the mixtapes. They wasn't mixtapes, they was just they had kid and play. They okay. have it was cassettes. They yeah. have kid and play. They have um so you 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 can age me by there. Well, I'll be giving my age. I feel a lot of energy. I'll be giving my age. I'm gonna stop <laughs> giving my age. I'm gonna let the people figure it out. But right. you had like kid and play, you had Ron DMC, Fat Boys, you have Houdini. All this is on one cassette. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So but my I fell in love, I could say one of the first album was like Slick Rick, right? Yeah. But that's what I mean, the children, the, the um the, the original the nineteen eighty eight album. You know what I mean? What's yeah, that? Yeah. Children's, what's the name of that album? Children's, um, the Great Adventures of Slick Rick. The Great Rick. Adventures of Slick Rick. You know what I mean? When he kneeling down. So that's when me and my man Bo, Anthony Yurt, we, we live in the same building, 690 Gerard Avenue. And I remember 
you know, just listen to that children's story and yeah. Slick Rick, Lottie Dottie, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. But it was like the Slick Brick time, you know what I mean? And then Ooh. I just fell in love with Rock Kim, Cool G Rap, you know what I mean? Kane, you know what I mean? I'm from that era, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you know, it was like Kane and Rock Kim going at it, the KRS ones, I'm from the South Bronx, Just Ice, Juice Crew, you know what I'm saying? And all the original hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna go back too far to the 70s, but just me. Like that Coogee right. Rap, Fat Boys, you know what I mean? That that era, I can name so many names, but it was just certain standout. LL, we know LL hit with, with Bad, right. you know what I'm saying? So me, it was that, that 80s period, that, 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 that mid 80s music, is when 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 all them guys was out when I was just like yo, you know what I mean? All right, quick question. Coming from yeah. the Bronx, how did you feel when you heard the bridge is over? The bridge is over. I'm from the Bronx. It's like I never heard of a place called Queens. You know what I'm saying? Like Queens wasn't like I ain't, I didn't. There's no need. There's no need for me to acknowledge Queens at that time, right? Because I haven't even traveled outside of New York City, right? You know what I'm saying I haven't traveled because this is New York City is five cities in one. It's Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and Staten Island. I agree. I always, when I tell people, I'll be like, there will be like five Baltimores in one city. That's right, the because I New, the Bronx has like 1.5 million. Brooklyn got 2 million. Queens got 2 million. Staten Island got a million. Manhattan got a million. You know what I'm saying? So these are, these are cities. When I write my address, I write Bronx, New York, Manhattan, New York. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Staten Island. So these are so... When it comes to the Bronx, this is what I bleed. I bleed the Bronx. So when that came out, it was like, I mean, of course, we, 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 this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? But it's not taking nothing from Shane, from, from MC Shane. Yeah, yeah. The city, what up? It's not taking 730. It's not taking from, it's not taking from um, MC Shane. MC Shane is great. Absolutely. The old Queens, we know what Queens did, but at this point in time, Okay, I rest. I mean, this is this is the guy, man. My hey, philosophy man. and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? And, and this is this is this is not regular time. So yo, seven thirty, Sin City. You already. You know what I mean? So it's like it's more. I ain't care about that. You know what I mean? And we still lived off that. We we live off the South Bronx anthem to this day. You know what I mean? And shout yeah. out to Queens. Shout out to Left Right. Shout out to Queens. Right. Right. Shout out to, so. to Far Rock. You know what I mean? Right, Shout right, out to so, Southside. Yeah, you right, know what I mean? So, but at, and it kind of want to make me lead to the question I want to ask later, because it's, it's it's very ironic to me, you know, with the 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 Capone and Noriega and MU situation. I don't know. We can get into that in a right, second. Right, right. I understand. I understand. <laughs> New Yorkers understand, you know what I mean, when I'm saying, when I say, just like in Baltimore, it might be parts of Baltimore that don't get along. Yep. You know what I mean? Then it's the, then, side, yeah. the same thing of getting along is guys from both sides that get along. So it's just those different pockets and different times. So at a time then, the 80s, 90s, it was different than today. Today we're unified more. You know what I'm saying? We're, 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 you know what I mean? And with the Capone and Noriega, that was, we talking 20 plus years ago. I met Noriega in 1998. Okay. I was a fan of Nori before I met him. I, had, I listened to War Report. You know what I mean? War Report was a classic. You yes. know what I mean? And then I constantly <laughs> met him. I was on, he looked at my live today. I'm still, my, 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 my girl was saying today, like, babe, why do you be posting all that? Like, everybody knows that's your friend. But I'm like, it's, you know what I mean? This is what I do. I can post many people, but I don't have many friends on that level. It's like, it's more support. So, you know what I mean? To see him in my live today was like, oh, what's up? I ain't no. You know what I mean? I, I, and that's just, it's, seen, it's normal to people, but it's not normal because, a lot of people don't take opportunities of their resources. You know what I mean? So anyway, so when the Queens Bronx thing is like, it still goes on because it's a certain age group. But with my age group, now nah, the younger guys, 13, 14, 20, they still may be in jail facilities and, and in group homes and school, you know, still having these debates because everybody's passionate about where they're from. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, I could be, we can both be great. We could, we could agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? That's so true. that's what it's all about. Everybody love where they from. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why we don't disrespect. I would never disrespect Baltimore. Because I'm from I'm not from Baltimore. I mean, I'm not nah, you from Baltimore, so you love Baltimore, I love Baltimore too. We're gonna have disagreements about whatever. That's what we do. But we respect each other. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we argue about the new balance with Baltimore. Is it Baltimore? Is it <laughs> DC? Is it New York? You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh shit. All right. 
um, you, you had a post um, a little while ago that kind of flabbergasted me. Um, I'm 40 years old. It says, it says something to the effect of, I believe you only spent like nine years of your adulthood uh, free. You only had free. Uh, I, maybe I'm fucking the words up. You only have about nine years of your freedom as nah, an adult. Right. I'm going to get into that. I'm 42, right? I turned 42 in May. What up, book? Book 141. What up, Hot Rod? I turned 42, right? By the time I was 38 years old, I already did 13 years, right? So I went in. I started going to jail at 13. Spofford, New York City. That's in the South Bronx. Um, Rikers Island. That's in Queens, but it's on Bronx water. Um, state prison upstate New York. Um, I did federal sentence. Um, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Oklahoma. I was in Philadelphia federal um, um, building, and it got downtown. I was in Atlanta. I was in. Uh, I mean, um, I did a out of state bid. So. I'm, I'm one, I've done so much time, and I, I've done, and that's and that's nine years out of my adult life. I was doing time from a from a teenager, from a preteen, from thirteen. I was doing. You know what I mean, so I I miss I miss. All right, put it like this. Let me see. I miss my 18th birthday, 19th birthday, 20th birthday. 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I was home for my 23rd. I went back in my 23rd. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Right? Then I did uh, about four years after. I did four years, about four years after that. You know what I'm saying? So I did my entire 20s. I did from 20. I went in the 20th of my birthday. I went in May. I turned 20 that May. I didn't, my next birthday, I was 29 in the street. Mm. You understand? So in that time, I read books. You know, I took my shahada. My father was Muslim, you know what I mean, since I was a kid. So I became Muslim at 20 years old. Um, I'm still I'm still Muslim by faith. I read Arabic, speak Arabic. You know what I mean? I'm Salaf for Salaf. You know what I mean? Um, um, you know, I had Likya, I wore beard. I was married in Islam for about two years. So I'm a Muslim out of Wilmington, Delaware. Um, named Jasmine Hackett, beautiful sister. Shout out to Jasmine Hackett. Shout out to Shahida Fennell. She, 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 Shahida Fennell used to write books. She wrote a book called um, Men and the Lies They Tell. They out of women's in Delaware. Um, okay. And um, so during my incarceration, I, I embody reading. I embody health. I embody survival. I embody, you know, wanting to be intelligent. Embody hope. You know what I mean? So... That's where I come from. You know what I mean? I come from, yo, let's just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to happen. We're going to have to deal with it. Do I have trauma? I have a lot of trauma. A lot. You know what I mean? And this is why we have these conversations. We are in a place where people have done things and healed separately, but we, we raising hip hop and we talking about mental health and healing and these different things. So I've done, and I, I got my GED in Virginia in federal prison. Okay. Um, I was 20 six years old and I would have got it before that and I helped other people got, get get their GED and that was one of the happiest days of my life. I was in Petersburg, Virginia in, in 2005 and I took the test one time. I would have took it in 2001 and I was still in prison but I got in trouble and I wasn't able to take it. So the okay. first time I ever was able to take it, I, I, I got it and it was struggle getting that because they was trying to make us wait and that's one thing I was fighting for like yo, we going home. If we go home we not going to school. No matter how we behave in here, how we move in here, us right. going home, what's up, Chastity? Us going home is we don't have that reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can't, we're not going to go to school 25, 26 years old. We go, I'm going right. back to the South Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know if I'm going to live. You know, so um, back to the nine years, I've done more than that. You know what I mean? I've done nine out of my adult life because okay. I'm, I'm 42 years old. You know what I'm saying? And I've turned, I mean, so I've been, what's that, 20 years? What's that? No, 10 years. No, 20 years out of my adult, my adult life. You know what I mean? So nine of those is the only, I've been, I'll be free nine out, out of the 20. Yeah. That's sad. And, and let, me use a, let me use a different word. I'm going to let you go. It's, it's, it's purpose and it's reason, but what's not repeated? Because it's not really sad for me. It's sad from the outside looking in. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we can't judge. You know what I mean? That's why we see not a at all. person. And we'd no, be like, yo, he's this why That man might be happier than you. You know what I'm saying? Because we always try to put our opinion, our mind state perception on something. So for me, look where we at today. So every every so I'm gonna say that and say, let's keep hope. Let's let's not let's not give up when we in our on the hardship. You know what I mean? Yes, because God God plants you, man, so you can grow. You know what yeah. I mean? You're very I'm gonna you, growth. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I wanted to ask you that because I know of or know several people that pretty much have spent their whole adulthood. They my age and they spent their whole adulthood. Right, I'm listening. You know what I mean? Um, in the system. So I just wanted to, to ask you about that and, and for you to give us your, your information and your take and your wisdom. Up, you know what I mean? Because um, it is something to to learn from. You know what I mean? There's certain certain things that you can bestow upon us that we would never know. You know what I mean? Um, it's an unfortunate situation, but as the way you're speaking it, there's hope behind it if you if you play it right. In my, you know, just outside looking in. Um, so that's the only reason I really wanted to ask you that question. I appreciate it, and you know, in hip hop, we bragged about crime. We bragged about going to prison, Rikers Island songs. We bragged yeah. about, you know, we know we know Alcatraz and Attica and we know all these different jails because we romanticize it. And a lot of these guys ain't go through it. You know what I mean? And that's my thing with, that's my only beef with hip hop, right? Or rap, where we want to put it, but I'm gonna say hip hop. I'm not gonna say rap. Rap is what we say, what we, hip hop is what we do, right? And Amen. it's what we live, you know what I'm saying? So yes. I've got to put some blame on hip hop. The great, we're great. Hip hop is the greatest thing on earth. Right, I'm, I'm, like I'm, my mama I'm, might be the greatest thing on earth, but our mama I'm, gonna I'm do with. some things we don't like. Our daddy yeah, gonna I'm do some you. things we don't like. Our children gonna do some things we don't like. So therefore, it's like we can't. We, I mean, we did that already, right? So everything has a purpose. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm not blaming you know, individual. I mean, like we pointing fingers at everybody. Cancel this person. This nah, as a whole, because I got fault. I do a lot of wrong. <laughs> we all do. We and, all do. You understand? I mean, I say a lot of wrong. I'm going to do wrong. So, in hip hop, my beef was only wrong. I'm going through this. I'm going to prison. I'm doing the street stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not promoting that. So, that's my only beef. I, that's just my only beef. That's why I never, I'm from the South Bronx. I'm not a rap. I'm not a dress. I'm not to do everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? But I know I'm going to lead you astray. I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to use my voice. It's like when Jay said, y'all worried about, about the microphone and the band in Cuba, you know what I mean? Or China, whatever he was talking about. But y'all need to be worrying about this microphone. The microphone is powerful. You understand? So when these waves go across, what you say you're responsible for, it's going to come back to you. You know what I mean? And I don't got, I'm not that tough for me to mislead a whole group of people intentionally. You know what I mean? And if a rapper not doing it, what up, Tux? If a rapper not doing it intentionally, then God bless. But it's a lot of times where we promoting what you're not living. Yeah. How many artists is really living this? Yeah. So that was my whole thing. And this is how we get all the way to today, where we got we got hip hop form poor drill. It can never yeah. have a drill award. It can never be a section in hip hop that we're gonna have a drill award. Because what 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 is the award? You can have a hip hop for R and B, neo right. soul, uh, you know what I mean, female this, uh, uh, this this form of hip hop. You know what I mean? We, what we got? How many forms of hip hop we got? We got crunk. We yeah, got they, we they, got we got we got we gonna put drill in there. We got drill. We got we got um what's that? We got reggae tone. We got Latin trap. We got all we got trap. We got all type of music. Spit fire. What up, homie? You got you, you know got original saying? boom bap, what people would call original hip hop boom bap kind of. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got yes. all. I mean, I mean, but I say that to say we can never be rewarded for drill. You know what I'm saying? We can never I, be rewarded for that. No matter how good, <clears throat> how good it sound, or how the beat says. And the I'm not message. speaking against drill. I'm speaking to the reality of drill. Yeah, the, the message. Of I don't have. I don't have a disagreement to say, yo, you wrong. It's it's what's going on. I like drill. I listen to drill and R and B. 
I listen to all hip hop, but I listen to drill because it's the realest thing going on. Yeah. It's a form of hip hop that you can deny it, you can not listen to it, but it's a lot of messages in it. That's you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not here for tell people, yo, don't do this and do that. I'm telling people, don't be fake. Don't be who you not. You know what I'm because yeah. some people got to go to jail. Some people got to die. Some people go to the military. You know what I mean, Barack Obama had to kill people. He killed a lot of brown people. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So we yeah. not gonna live in this world. You gonna tell me what? You gonna tell me what you wanna tell? I'm gonna think for myself, and I'm gonna stand. I'm I'm stand to be corrected. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yes, the end of your question is, yes, I did a lot of time, and this is why I'm passionate, and I'm trying to. I'm not trying. I will with my life, with the best of my ability. Try to keep young brothers out of jail. I'm a guy and I got a bachelor's degree. When I came home, I went and got a bachelor's degree. I did Same the eight word. years. I went in at 20. Shout I came home you. at 28. I ain't got one. Look, I went in at 20. I came home at 28. 28, I went to college. I mean, I finished college. I got my bachelor's degree. Inside of that, my home, I got trapped off with some money. And I, I got I went away again. So I went from 20 to 28 in, in prison to college for four years. Back to prison for four years. So mm. I've been institutionalized on a whole nother level. I've been on supervision since 13. Mm. You understand? Yeah, you know like, what up, cousin? What up, Bucky? And, How and, you and, up? What up? So and, 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 this and is what me, you hear. How you was talking about trauma. Like, right. So this is why I can relate to the first Charleston White. I don't know what's going on next. I ain't listen to him. But his Queen's Flip interview and a lot of stuff he's saying, it, I, we relate. I spoke to him. You know what I mean, I even got stuff on my gram because. He know I ever. Now, I'm yeah. from the era of childhood murderers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm from the era when the conservation went, went from the 80s wasn't all conservation. No. That changed in 88 with the Burns joining Queens and right. then New York implemented all these laws from the Rockefeller law in 73 to the new laws, the federal laws and the oh, crack yeah. and drug laws. You know what yep. I mean? 100 to 1. And they locked up the whole America. Baltimore, yeah. New York, Philadelphia, yeah. LA, you know what I mean? DC. You know what I mean? Everywhere under these situations. So that's we that generation yeah. that went in. You know what I mean? The kids of the 90s. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is why we're so political and so outspoken and passionate about hip hop because hip hop is a voice. Hip hop is, I mean, it's part of our life. You know what I mean? Like it or not. So, it, and it's something, I, anything you got to say, you need to use it because it's going to get heard. And, and can I say this? And at this very moment in motherfucking time, the numbers don't lie. Hip hop been been the biggest, but right. the numbers don't lie. They know it's it's the biggest now. You know what I'm saying? Right. So as you saying, hip hop has to be more responsible and use its voice in a way more positive way as much as possible. We still have to shed life on the reality. Right. You know what I mean? Because we can't let, let's not fool ourselves. You know what no, I mean? No, we're not gonna do that. Um, Absolutely. Um, man, that was heavy. Um. All right, can I, can I move on to another note, which you just asked me about some New York shit? Uh-huh. I heard, I, I don't know what I was watching the other day. They said something about um something, in, and I think it's in Harlem. They said it's called Grand Tunes or something. Grand Tunes, yeah, that's in Harlem, yeah. What, it, what um, is that? That closed down in like 95, I think, with the Crystal Pete case. That's, that's called Harlem Week. But Grand Tunes is like on the west side. So you used to walk from like one side of Harlem to the other side. Give me one second. I'm coming right back. We're going to break that okay. down. Let me get my hat. All right. Shout out to everybody over here watching this, Jordan. This is my big, biggest fan with Baby Bob. Um, he happened to bless me with the time and opportunity to talk to him about, um, you know, his life, his story. I appreciate it, man. Um, you know, so we in here. You know, thank y'all, all y'all for tuning in. You know, um, and just uh, for me, I'm gonna say this for me. It gets no realer than this, and in my, you know, for 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 what I've been doing, and you know, for me to have this opportunity. So shout out to Baby Bob and um his family and all that. You know, like. I sincerely appreciate it more than I can uh, show on this fucking Instagram shit. Yeah, I'm cracked, man. Um, 
Yeah. So, okay. I apologize. It's, you know, we, we good. I, I know how I go. Um, the Grand Tombs. I, I, I can't remember what I was watching, but it was like it was like 20 blocks. I don't know they said it was Lennox Avenue or something. They was like, like 20 blocks. And they compared it to Freaknik, I believe. I was watching something they was comparing it to Freaknik. No, but, yeah, Grand Tomb. Grand Tomb is in Harlem. It's right. called Harlem Week, so it had to last about a week. It's in the summertime. Okay. And it's like, right, it's like it's like a beach on sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like the early, it's the 90s. Like, so we, we had the Daisy Duke era. We had the Reebok Classic era. And that ended, I think, with Pistol Pete. I think Pistol Pete, kind of, that's like after 95, some things happened. I think they didn't have it no more. Mm. So that's how long, that's how old it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it was it was the best it was the best thing of the summer. You know what I mean? You can compare that to Dykeman is now. You know what I'm saying? How fifty fifth okay. was. That was like you had to be there. You know what I'm saying? It's like damn, it's that's gone. You know what I'm saying? It's like freak me, like damn, you ever you ever been like damn, like damn. you can't get that feeling back. That's a point in time that came and it was like you, you had to be there. If you yeah. wasn't there, you kind of missed out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you that's just, like just gonna hear the stories after the fact, like yo. It was it was motherfuckers hanging out the car, um, um, dead. Uh, what do you call it? Gridlock. The block you couldn't drive down, man. If you was, you mm -hmm. was two miles an hour. Like, I, I just heard the interview and I was like, I have I have to ask him this if I get the chance to talk to him because I don't know who else from New York to ask this question. Yeah, yeah. Everybody know about it. Everybody from that time period, you can ask. They, you know what I mean, I know what you're saying, but yeah, I was young. I was a teenager, but I remember we all getting fresh. You know what I mean? Going hollering at the girls, you know, and um, you know, just being in that that time. That's for me. That's ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Then it kind of a little bit after, but it wasn't really there after like ninety five. So the ninety five for me, I'm sixteen and all that. You know what I mean? You know how sixteen, how you feel? You can't tell me nothing. Yeah. And I'm and I'm and I'm. You know what I mean? I'm getting a lot of money. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like I enjoyed myself at that period of time. You know. And that's it's a lot of events that's like that. That point in time, um, what was else was probably going on? That was that's like a big, a big event. But that's you can say as we still have cookouts and all that now in Harlem. I mean, Harlem's still breaking records. You know, it's been fire. You already. Um, um yeah. I, I, I want I want to say you know Nori said that in our what's the song? Sometimes he said I miss Harlem weeks and uh, uh yeah, something to that effect. Like that. Yeah, yeah, Harlem weeks, um, the tunnel, you yeah. know. Um, I, I, I want to get to you on that one. Before we get to that, I want to ask, how was MU formed? Um, from my understanding, I believe most of y'all kind of grew up together. Yeah, 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 all of us grew up together. But how, how, how did how did all that come together for those that don't know? Um, we're family. We grew up together on the same block. You know what I mean? One five seven inch rod. You know what I mean? And um, pretty much. Uh, about 30 years ago, man, a group of young guys, we got together, you know, and naturally played basketball, baseball, football, you know what I mean, from tag, manhunt, you know, uh, trading sneakers, clothes, sleeping in each other's house, yep. you know what I mean? Um, That's familiar. Our mothers know your mother, you know what I mean? Um, for my innocence, we go back from innocence, man, you know what I'm saying? We go back from elementary school, preschool. I'm still with my friends from preschool. Yeah. I was just on the phone with, with, with you know what I mean, with, with, with my guys from elementary school. You know what I mean? Shout out to JB. Shout out to Ive. You know what I mean? Uh, Boo Boo. You know what I mean? Like, as guys. So those are things that, and those are guys who, good guys. These not even guys that I could say that's under MU. You know what I mean? They MU, okay. but they not MU because... They never, you know what I mean, they from the same neighborhood. They never committed crimes. They never really said MU, but they going to love me just the same. So when you say MU, that's more of, you know what I mean, a, a smaller group within the group, you know, that had the same passion. You know, it's just we protected ourselves a little different because we're talking about 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 99. We're talking about the 90s, man. We ain't right. getting to the 80s yet, but God. So we formed in 91. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to mean? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. As that's a group. You know what I'm saying? As a group of guys. You know what I'm saying? So today I can say I'm a founder and I'm an ex-MU member. 
You know what I mean? And that's the that's the vibe of where we at. Because I'm no longer a, mem a murder unit member. You know what I mean? I'm a murder unit representative of what was and what can be. But going forward, I'm going to say it here first. I'm an ex-MU member. You know what I'm saying? And like 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 Noriega said on on, on on Queen's Flip, when Queen Flip was talking about me, Nori said the same thing. We ex-members. You know what I mean? We proud to say what we say, but that's not who we are. I'm the youngest. It's no one to come after me to say they're a murder unit, they're a murderer, or and want and want to be around me. I understand it. I understand the language. I understand the, 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 what's really going on. But that's for those who's really in it. And those who really in it, they're gonna die. They're gonna go to prison. They're gonna learn hard lessons. Some I hope get scared enough to never enter it. That's what I'm about. I don't want you to enter it because you may never get out of it. It's like being on a drug or being, and you know what I mean? Because these things are systematic. So it's gonna take a lot of you to, to, to stop it. And I'm stronger than most. And I know a lot of people are not gonna be able to survive it. And why go through it? So I'm proud to see guys that go to college, to go to play sports, you know, to yeah. be education, to be rappers, to, to be uh, on podcasts, to be speaking, to be, you know what I mean? Because we got to go a different route. We can't.